Welcome back. Super excited. Moving forward, in this lesson, I'm going to demonstrate how to remove the warnings. And specifically, we are going to take a look at how to take a look at and create text strings so we don't have to hard code this particular text. So in the previous lesson, we talked about the text view and we worked with several attributes. Here, I'm just going to demonstrate the warnings. So if I were to navigate, jumping right in, showing warnings and errors on the right side. By the way, if you have just opened Android Studio, you can navigate to the activity main.xml file within your Hello App world or whichever app you've created. Once you're on the activity main.xml, navigate to the design tab. And you can always open up palette if you need to, just so that you can see the different views and work with attributes later on as well. So here on the top, right on the toolbar in the editor or the canvas area, I'm gonna click on show warnings and errors and brings up the hard-coded text for me. So two warnings at this point are available. So let me uncollapse this. And so here's the first hard-coded text, which is linked with the source text view. And then the other one is the hard-coded text, which is linked with the image view. So again, both of these need resolution. How do we resolve this? There are several ways you can do it. I'm going to show you the easiest way and then the um, manual method as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at the image view first. So I have the image view here selected. So if I expand the hard-coded text, let me make this bigger so you can actually see. There we go. So what is hard-coded strings, such as my image, should use at symbol string resource. The hard-coding text attributes directly in layout file is bad for several reasons. So let's take a look at these reasons. And it's important to know. First, when you create your configurations variations, for example, landscape or portrait, you have to repeat the actual text and keep it up to date when making changes. So you have hard coded this image name, you would have to repeat with every other images that you use if you were to use the same, let's say you're using the logo, right? On the first screen of your app, if you were to reuse the same logo in the next screen, you'd have to hard code the name again. So that's what this is basically saying. The second reason why it's bad to use hard coded strings is the fact that applications cannot be translated to other languages by just adding new translations for existing string resources. And that makes sense. And there are quick fixes to automatically extract the hard coded string into a resource lookup. For instance, if I were to click on the suggested fix and it gives me the fix button, it's going to go ahead and extract the string resource. But wait a minute, where is it going to place it? What's going to happen? Well, the moment you fix the hard-coded string for this image view, it's going to go ahead and place it in the values folder on the left navigation pane here, and then in your strings.xml file. So before I actually click fix, let's view the strings.xml file and see what's inside. So let's go ahead and click on this. Perfect. So at this point, the XML tags only show one value, the existing value, which is string name, app name, which is the news app. So if I navigate back to activity main, this would be the top screen that I see up here. It says news app. If I don't see it here in the blueprint, of course, I can always bring up my design and blueprint, and I should be able to see the news app here as well okay so this is perfect because news app which is our main heading in the menu bar here is being not hard coded right so we're using the add string sign so let's navigate back to our blueprint there we go so right now is just one entry right app name is news app now, if I were to navigate back to my activity main and then click on the fix, right, the button here. So this is going to go ahead and extract the string resource, brings up a dialog box, 
and allows me to enter the name of this image, right? So the resource image name, as well as the resource value, and then the source set and the file name. Notice the default file name is strings.xml, which is the same XML file name that we just saw. So I'm just going to give this a name. So for instance, my image would be my logo. And then click OK. As soon as I do this, notice the warning disappears. But let's verify this. Let's take a look at by navigating to strings.xml file and perfect. So now you have a string, my logo inserted, and the label is my image. Great. Let's now get back to activity main. We still have one more fix to do, which is the hard coded string clay desk, which is right here, the text view should be at string resource. Now, of course, if I scroll down, I could click on the same manner, fix, and it's going to go ahead and extract the string resource. But let me show you how to do this manually so you get better at it. So let's navigate to our strings.xml file and let's insert our own string. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the angle brackets here. And as soon as you open the angle bracket, Android Studio is pretty smart, right? So the IntelliSense kicks in and shows you several commands, right, that you want to use or you could use. So I'm going to say string. As soon as I type a few letters, it's going to bring up the actual command. I'm going to say enter string name. So if I hit the enter key, right, it automatically fills in the actual, it recognizes that you're about to enter a string name. So the name of the string here would be, I'm going to say clay desk text. Again, it could be any name. Close the angle bracket. As soon as I close the angle bracket, now it's going to look for the label. Okay. So since I've already used the word clay desk as part of the string, I'm going to go ahead and use the same. The warning, the light bulb that I see here, it just shows me that the edit translations for all locales in the translation, I can either hide or open the editor and fix it, but not to worry. It says there's a typo in the word clay desk text because it doesn't recognize the name. So therefore it gives you this. If I were to choose any other name, it will recognize a simple English text. But this is not to worry because the only way to verify this is the fact that you see the little green arrow on the top right, right? So when I were to build and run the analysis, it's just going to say, hey, it's just one type of found, no big deal. Perfect. So as soon as I enter a new line for this string name, what's going to happen if I navigate to activity main? Let me close this. Or build this rather I can do it a couple of ways I can make this project or I can run the app itself but since I do not want to run the app I'm just going to go ahead and make the project so if I click on make project it's going to run the gradle build right and I can click on this and opens up the status bar shows me the background tasks great so once the make project is finished notice nothing really happens I still have the warning error right and here's the reason why because if I were to navigate to the attributes or the properties of this text box, notice the name that I entered manually, right? Or I hard coded the text name initially when I created the text view of this box. It says Clay Desk. So unless I fix this here, it's not going to remove the warning error. So I'm going to go ahead and delete the text here within the attributes. And I can bring this by clicking on the palette, right? So once I've deleted the hard-coded text, all I would have to do is start with the at sign and then type the string. As soon as I type a few letters, it brings up all of the at and then string app name. And here I can find my Claydesk text that we just manually created within the XML. So as soon as I select this, now I would have the string dash or forward slash desk and as soon as I enter notice the warning sort of like disappears okay so there's no issue at this point perfect so if I close the pilot now there we go so now we do not have any errors on this particular screen as far as our text view or the image view is concerned so practice with this Post your questions in the discussion area. I'll be glad to help. And with this, let's move to the next lesson.